Hi guys! Today is actually Chinese New Year Eve and I'm going out later for my reunion dinner. So thought to share with you and get ready with me to do a simple makeup look for this Chinese New Year celebration. So let's move on. Okay, so I haven't applied anything on my face, so I'll start with my skincare. Today I'll be using quite a bit of new products so I'll just use them on my face and quickly just go through this makeup process together with you. Uh, I'm in a rush so I couldn't really do um, step by step so I'll just use a warm moisturizing sunscreen. This sunscreen is very lightweight. When I say it's like a moisturizer, but it's not sticky, so it doesn't really affect your makeup base. But it doesn't make you feel dry, also. So I think for moisture and hydration, is good enough. Chinese New Year is a very big thing for. Chinese and but we are a racial multiracial country so everybody gets to rest during Chinese New Year. Most of us unless your job uh, nature requires you to work during Chinese New Year but other than that um, most of us are resting having our public holiday till the second day of Chinese New Year. Yep. Because we got to go and buy Nian. Buy Nian has been to do some visiting, but now due to COVID and there is a limit in the vis number of visitors a day, so we couldn't really go to many places. But anyway, my family don't have that many relatives, so only the few of us, so we are just doing our own things, walk around, relax, make use of this public holiday to spend more time with each other rather than do a lot of visiting to many places. Alright, so I'm done with my sunblock. Today I will use this. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Cushion Foundation. And they come up with this new packaging just for Chinese New Year. Isn't it very cute? I actually buy this for the packaging. But surprisingly, the product itself is really amazing as well. So um, this, this cushion is actually a soft glow matte effect. So if you like more like a matte finish um, cushion foundation and yet have a good coverage I think you can try this the coverage was surprisingly quite high I would say slightly higher than medium I tried it a few times already and I kind of like this effect it doesn't it's not really super matte and very dry to your skin it is alright and then at the same time it doesn't make you feel oily and there is a little tint of glow so I think it's quite suitable for most of us unless you have a very very dry skin then you may have to top up more moisturizer or hydrate your skin a little bit more before you apply this other than that I think the effect of this product is very good and it really covers a lot of flaws on your face so if you are looking for something with quite a good coverage you should try this one. I strongly recommend this. So the only difference I think is the packaging. I'm not too sure uh, for the original cushion foundation does it comes with this uh, teardrop shape kind of cushion. But um, 
this time they gave this it's a little bit pointed so that you can reach to like a small edges or nearer to your eye corners your nose and all those so i think the design of this is very good they only come up with come up with one color which is one w one bone one w one bone for this uh, chinese new year casing it comes together and you cannot choose the shape for the foundation but for me i i am okay with this shade so i can buy this one and it does come with spf 45 pa3 plus so for normal going out i think it's all right for those who are very particular in whether the cushion or the foundation does have any SPF sunblock effect, this is something you can consider. It doesn't give you a very cakey, chalky look on the face, it instead gives you quite a very nice glow. I have the pimple everywhere not sure is it because I sleep very late recently because my boys sleep late so I have to follow suit and sleep even later than him you know mama mummies who want their own me time you have no choice but to sleep later than that so that you can have your me time put a bit on my eyelid so that it doesn't look creepy to you I'm zooming a little without applying anything like concealers or anything this is just the cushion foundation alone and I think the effect is very good as you can see right, I as I was patting and spreading it out, it still has a little glow on the skin. It's not super matte. It has a little tint of natural glow. And the coverage is really really good. I have redness and everything on my face, right? So, but then this is just a very thin layer of the foundation that you can cover almost everything. Let me show you. Even large pores. Even the large pores on the face, it can help you minimize. And I will mm, alright, not too bad because I have very bad dark circles problem, but it still does help to conceal a bit, and the color looks natural. Natural or not, I think it's, it's also partly due to the shade that you choose. So I think I choose the right one, and I'm quite satisfied with this color. And the effect of this cushion foundation this is how it looks like so i'll continue to apply for the rest of my face but um even though it's called soft glow matte it's supposed to be like not so sticky right but i do still have a habit of applying a thin layer of uh, setting powder so later i'll still apply my loose powder so that it doesn't really feel sticky at all on my face but for wearing mask it still does transfer a little bit it's not very bad just a little bit even after setting the powder so this is maybe one of the things that you want to consider if you if you care a lot about whether the foundation itself does transfer to your mask yep. oh and another cute thing is they it is just magnetic you just and then it will close on its own so I think, I think this is really quite cute the packaging doesn't look cheap it's like 
there is a certain quality to it with the new print on it the red and the tiger because uh, this is actually Zodiac of Tiger so that's why they come up with this tiger print with these blue eyes I think it's very very nice for those who love the packaging just like me I think it's worth getting it even though I'm not sure by now when you look at this video whether this thing is still available but I would really want to share with you like how much I love about this packaging ever since I first bought it it also comes with a lipstick that have the tiger print on it and then when you open it up there is this tiger stripe on the golden plated thing so I think the, the design is really very nice Oh, but again, uh, the promotion or the event for this Chinese New Year, right? This is free. This lipstick, this full size lipstick, is it comes free if you buy the cushion or the cheek blush palette. But you cannot choose the shade. This is this is the shade. It's called Five Five Seven Fragile Ego. It is very very small but the colour is very pigmented and it's very strong so it is a matte lipstick if you are not the type where you love this kind of dark colour you may not like it but you can actually apply very thin layer or just tap around to give you the lighter shade so that it is not so dark and it's more acceptable for daily use for two. today I'll use this the Fenty Beauty Eye Brightener I'll just dab it under my under eye Now let's move on. So I'll use this one, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Loose Powder. Next again, I'll use my eye primer Then my Excel eyebrow pencil This time I buy PD13 It's an ash grey colour
This is also a new eyeshadow that I just bought. I think the color is also a new color as well. As you can see from just now, some of the colors are really really very really outstanding. When it's just a drugstore price. I think it's only 20 over dollars, um, Singapore dollar. Japanese brand, same as my eyebrow pencil, and I think their products are really very outstanding. Although for drugstore, drug it may be a little pricey because all year round they does not do any discount. My eyes look a little bit like here got more colors and here got nothing, so I'm going to top up a little bit more before I continue with my mascara for my lower lash so I'll use the last palette one of the bling colors here and on the volume mm, looks better right? I hope. <laughs> So this is the lipstick from MAC It's the 544 Business Casual The Lustre Glass Lipstick I'm not too sure if that's the correct pronunciation So this is how it is like It's like so I'm going to put it on my lip. I should just apply a little more. I love this color and the texture, but I think it doesn't really cover my lip very nicely. Or is it okay? Yeah. Initially, I thought it doesn't cover my mm, 
the those darkness around my sleep area but I think it's still overall quite okay so this is how it looks like so today I will wear this makeup to go for my reunion dinner and yeah so now I need to quickly style my hair for a while It's more presentable, right? Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, although it's a very rushing and impromptu kind of video recording. But I hope you guys still enjoy going through the makeup process with me and see what I use and hope you're interested in those products that I've shared. If you guys have anything in mind and you wish to ask me to try certain products for review, feel free to let me know. Feel free to let me know what other products that you're interested in and you would like me to test out or what kind of videos you would like me to share in my channel. So yep, that's all for today. See you soon! Hope you enjoyed my video for today and thanks for watching my video. So um, Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you. Happy New Year.